Hey guys, so tonight I'm very excited like always. Apparently I'm always just super excited no matter what's going on. But I went to Sephora today for the first time in what feels like forever. <laughs> but at least like four months. So I noticed on the app before I got there that this was now at out and it is the Too Faced Born This Way 24 hour undetectable super longwear foundation oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, and transfer-resistant. So, I love the regular Too Faced Born This Way. Um, I definitely don't have the box anymore. I've had this for quite a long time, but it says on here that it is undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation and oil-free. And on here it says 24-hour, undetectable, and super long wear. So, I have the shade Seashell in the normal born this way and I actually just used this in a video not long ago I think it was like a shot my stash video no it was I don't remember which video but I just used this so I figured it would be cool to give this a try and I got this in the shade pearl now in Sephora you cannot like sample things you can't swatch things you can't test anything if you want to see the shade of something they put it on like an acrylic piece and kind of like put it up to your skin and we all know like that's not the best way to color match. So that is how this was color matched to me. I did say that right now I am very, very fair for the summer. I don't have any fake tan on. I'll definitely be doing it in the next couple of days, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I do want to have kind of like a hydrating primer on for this. So I'm going to use my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas and throw this all over my face. Alright, so that is applied. While that's sinking in, just for a second, I actually also have the Born This Way concealer in a couple of shades and the Born This Way powder foundation, so we are just going to use this all together, and I feel like this will give us a very good sense of how the product worked works since, you know, it's all the same line, range, all of that, so let's give this a good shake. And I'm going to start off with just a pump because it does say that it's pretty full coverage. And I'm going to dot that all around my face. I might need a little more, like a half a pump. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use my Juno & Co. Cloud Sponge, Storm Sponge, something like that. The color doesn't look bad. And it definitely seems a full coverage, that is for sure. Okay, so this is what a pump and a half looks like applied to my face, and it is definitely very, very, very full coverage. Um, no, okay, it's not that full coverage. I'm just not used to wearing full coverage right now, so it's a little bit weird. I will say I can tell like, a little bit of a difference in the finish. I think it does look a little more matte than the normal one. I think the only reason I have any kind of anything going on is because of the primer that I used, and that does make me a little bit dewy but it went on really like smooth and even and it feels very lightweight so so far so good i guess this is more about wear than anything else and i will wear it for a few hours tonight so i can leave you know whatever i get from that in the description box and i think i'm honestly just going to go in with the lighter concealer i was going to mix them but i'm just feeling a little too lazy for that so this is in the shade Snow. I think this is like one of their lightest shades, but I think I have plenty of coverage, so I am just using this to brighten my face up a tiny bit. I don't need much at all. Like, I do have like a little zit here and here, and it completely, and here, what is going on? And here, okay, those need to go. But it did take like all of the color out of them, which, is nice in a full coverage foundation. And I'm assuming this is going to blend well on top of this. I mean, I really like this concealer. Even on, you know, other foundations, I very rarely use like the foundation powder combo that I'm supposed to, or like the, you know, a line of it, if that makes sense. Like if this looks gorgeous, I might 
continue to use it some like this, but usually I'm always mixing my products around. I just kind of figured since I do have the whole line, I might as well kind of see what they all look like together. <laughs> and I am setting my under eyes with my Laura Mercier instant blurring powder because it is the best. The more I look at it, and it might be because I did use the super light concealer, but I definitely think I could have gone up a shade in the actual foundation, like especially if I'm going to be self tanning, but I guess I can always kind of mix it around with something that's a little bit deeper, and I will honestly probably mix this until like fall winter anyway because I don't usually go for like full full coverage every day of the summer so I think y'all know I've been loving like all of my skin tints and everything else I actually also have the Too Faced Mr. Right powder brush this is one of my favorites so I'm gonna go into this Born This Way powder now this is also in snow so it is extremely light we are going to have to bronze up quite a bit today but I got all of this stuff for the winter and in the winter I am basically the shade of snow like this would suggest. Right, I'm going to throw some eyebrows on real quick and I will be right back to finish up the face really quick. I kind of just want to do like a really easy eye, big lashes, that sort of thing. So I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I just threw some brows on. They're not looking the best. They never look the best. I mean, let's be completely real. I'm not very good at doing my brows, but I just tried to use the, what is it? Cabral from Benefit. And I just have this like little mini one. I actually love this, but I've not used it like any kind of pomade in so long that I'm not quite sure how we're feeling. So <laughs> I don't know. Right, so I have like a tiny itty bitty teensy weensy little Sephora haul that I think I'm just going to film after this and put up the next day. But um, it'll probably be like a four minute video. <laughs> but I have something from that that I really want to use. But I really want to use that in like a full face of new makeup. But I feel like this is almost a full face of new makeup. But it's not. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to hold off. We're just paying attention to the foundation tonight. And the foundation looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> like honestly, for just like a straight up matte foundation, my lips are looking nasty and crusty and that needs to change. Okay, back to the foundation aspect. It, like, between that and the Tatcha, my pores are so blurred. I know you really can't see, and I wish I could, like, zoom you in or something more. But, like, my pores look so good. My nose isn't getting all, like, creasy and wrinkly. It doesn't have a weird thing on my neck. Like, it's not giving me weird... I'm, just, I'm really vibing with it. So, let's throw on a little bit of face makeup so I don't look like such a potato face. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury in the number two because, again, very, very, very pale right now. And just start warming up my face a bit. There was something I wanted to talk to y'all about, and now, of course, I cannot remember what it was. Well, this wasn't it, but it's something else that I'm going to talk about because I am so excited. <laughs> so, I have never had, like, a... I've had nights away from Parker very rarely, maybe five times over the past two years. He's my kid. Like, I I don't want him to be anywhere but with me. I want to be taking care of him. I'm not complaining about always being with him. I love him to death. He's, like, my apps. He's everything. Like, everything I do for him. I'm good with that. I'm going to use the NARS Paradise Found bronzer again. And so I've never, like, you know, I'm not with his dad. So it's not like we have, like, an anniversary and, like, we have a little trip that we take just the two of us or anything like that and this summer when we went down to the beach that was like my family beach week i want to be with my kid while i'm with my family and everything so of course i'm gonna bring him down then but um you know i was really thinking about it and i was like even most like single moms the dads usually get the kid every other weekend or you know they have some kind of like custody thing worked out where the mom does get a break it's not just on the mom. It's not just, you know, it's constant. And he's two and it, it's amazing, but it's so much work. Like it is, it's a lot of freaking work being on all the time. So I really thought about it and I was like, you know what? I think after everything, everyone has been through this year, after everything I've been through over the past three years, I think I deserve to 
get away for a night and just be and not like be anything to anyone just be <laughs> okay i'm going to hop over to my eyes real quick and i'm going to use one of these Too faced melted chocolate eyeshadows that i love so so much tonight i'm going to use the tiramisu me and this is like a really pretty cool toned color i really really enjoy it and you literally just have to dab a little bit in the crease and then take a nice fluffy brush and blend it out and then you can you know work it up work it out blend it out build it up i'm just obsessed with these and this is kind of like a pretty mauvey not mauve but like i don't know it's almost like a purpley shade it's really really pretty i don't know if it's going to come off as purple on camera as it does just sitting here but anyways so i decided i i just needed a break i was like you know what like i i haven't really gotten a good break like that like even when you know he's gone for a night or two i mean it's never been two nights even when he stays at his grandparents for a night that's so i can like clean or so i can like get a whole bunch of laundry done or it's never like a me thing it's never like a i can just kind of and i mean i can sit down and watch a movie while i do it i'm not saying that but it was just never like intentionally me taking time for me which i think is honestly exactly what i need right now so i'm going to go to the beach by myself this weekend and i am so excited about it i don't think i've been this excited for something in a very long time i'm only going for like literally 24 hours and i don't care because it's going to be 24 hours of me thinking about me and only me and that's not true i'm going to be thinking about him and facetiming him the whole time because i could have gone for two days or two nights and three days but i don't think i can actually be away from him for that long <laughs> i think i have some serious separation issues too so now on top of this sometimes i will just leave them totally matte but tonight i'm going to go in with some of this Stila Shimmer and Glow. This is in the color Cloud, and it's just this pretty, like, lavender kind of gunmetal gray. I don't know. It's kind of on the cooler side, so I figured it might look pretty. I'm kind of just going to put this all over my lid. And what I'm doing looks like this. Nothing about it is precise. <laughs> oh, I think that's so pretty. And it actually goes really well with the eyeshadow. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye because y'all don't need to see that twice. And I will be right back to kind of just show you what it looks like. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Okay, so part of me just feels like I need just a, just a little bit more bronzer going on probably because I feel so pale with this shade and I'm definitely not going to go back to exchange it so we are just going to make it work and you know what <laughs> it is what it is the finish is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to play around with like mixing other things that I have been loving in with this because this just looks like I have like Barbie skin right now it's insane. It looks so good and I am so down for this. And I'm really not that pale. Like if I look at my neck or my arm, like I'm totally the right color. I'm just used to being the wrong color. <laughs> so now I want to go in with this little NARS duo. It has orgasm and hot sand in it. So let's see how these go for blush and highlight. I never really understood why people were so, so obsessed with orgasm. Like, I feel like it's a pretty blush, but I don't know. I just don't see anything, like, wow about it. But I guess it's just, like, a classic, and people love their classics. Alright, now let's throw just a bit of this highlighter on. I honestly just, like, I'm really loving the way my skin is looking right now, so I don't feel like I need much else. It looks so pretty. Wow. And this highlighter is pretty, too. All right. All right, let's throw a lip on and we will be done. I wanted to show y'all what I talked about in my summer favorites. And this is the BFF lip pencil with the Parker lippy stick. And you know, I'm going to love any color named Parker. So I'm going to line my lips with the BFF. All 
I just made my lips so much more crooked than they actually are. I'm not even sure how I managed to do that, but let's throw some Parker on and hopefully that will fix everything. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the perfect lip for the eye look, but honestly, I feel like it's all about the skin because it is looking so freaking bomb. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Like, wow, that, I'm a little bit shook. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit shook about how amazing this looks. Like, when I got this, I figured that I would like it because I really do like the original version and I think I will continue to like the original version, but this one, it. I don't know, it does something different for my skin that this one does not do. I'm not sure if it's because this does have more of that like natural skin finish and it does, I feel like it shows a little bit more of my texture than this one does. I don't know if that is just the primer and this mixed together, but like I'm telling you everywhere I usually have really, really bad pores, like all around in here, all up in here, all like just everywhere. It looks so good. <laughs> So I'm super impressed so far. I am going to wear this just for a few hours tonight, but I will continue to use this in videos and I will also be wearing this when I do actually like put on a decent amount of makeup and maybe I will even wear this down to the beach so we can have a three hour car ride, a humidity test, a heat test, a... that way we can really test it out. But I don't know. I'm really digging this so far. So I think that is everything. And Hey guys, so it is a, a few hours later and I'm looking a few hours more rough. Oh, and I got stuff falling all over me. But I just wanted to do a little kind of a check-in. I know this isn't like a wear test or anything, but I was just about to sit down, well, go in the bathroom and take my makeup off. And my skin just still looks absolutely flawless. Like I haven't done anything that would cause it to rub off or anything like that. But I have been wearing this white hoodie which inevitably always gets makeup on it and I don't, I don't see any on it. So it seems pretty, you know, what did it say? It's like non-transferable, something like that. But I also decided to jump back on because I was reading the box and I figured this might be good information to tell y'all. So it says this oil-free 24 hour matte foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Our matte formula stays completely color true while covering imperfections to reveal the all day shine free look of naturally flawless skin. Lightweight wearing coverage so undetectable they'll think you were born this way. So it is infused with coconut water which aids in delicacy, delicate, Jesus Christ. <laughs> which aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose, which helps empower skin's health and resilience, and hyaluronic acid, which gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. And I mean, all of those claims seem very true so far. So I'm super excited to play around with this some more. Definitely let me know if y'all would like to see like a full day wear test or anything like that. I've never done that before, but we could totally do it. So whatever you wanna do, just uh, let me know. If Hey guys, so now it has been almost eight hours since I put this makeup on with y'all and I just wanted to kind of run in the bathroom. I'm getting ready to finally wash my face and go to bed, but this isn't the best lighting, but I did just want to show you how good this foundation still looks. Like it, I don't know, nothing is fading on top of it, like everything is just still looking really really good and I haven't like been doing anything special so I'm not gonna act like I was outside like gardening in the humidity or anything but I definitely need to wear this some more because I think it looks amazing so I will get back to whatever I was saying when I rudely interrupted myself and yeah just last little check-in I figured I would do before I finally go to sleep <laughs> Good night. I appreciate you being here to watch. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. If you were subscribed, make sure you still are because YouTube does not like me at all, apparently, which is sad to me because I, I love YouTube. I want it to like me back. But anyways, that is it for tonight and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were having a great week and I hope you are having a great day, night, evening, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.